hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this amazing hair growth oil if you're struggling with hair loss hair thinning are you losing your edges do you have a bald spot so in today's video i'm going to be showing you the best treatment to help you get rid of all those problems as well as this it will help you to grow your hair thicker faster and longer so if you're interested grab a seat and let's get into it yeah, 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 yeah. So the first ingredient i'm going to be using is ginger so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to wash the ginger then i'm going to cut it into little chunks ginger is amazing for our hair ginger helps to improve the circulation of the scalp while stimulating the follicles which promote healthy hair growth it contains many benefits such as vitamins minerals and fatty acid ginger also contributes to strengthening the hair strand and to fight against hair loss it's also amazing to restore moisture loss now i'm going to add the ginger into the blender so if you're still watching yet you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and press the red button don't forget to press the notification bell for future upload the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is cloves if you guys have been following me on this channel you will definitely know i'm the queen of cloves when it comes to clove i'm the queen i practically use clove for everything like cloves is amazing when it comes to growing your hair it really does work you just need to be patient and be consistent and you definitely see a dramatic change in your hair growth cloves is amazing when it comes to protecting the scalp from dandruffs which is a major cause of weak and thin hair it's amazing at growing your hair really fast and strengthening the hair so you can see the two ingredients are very powerful and have similar benefits and when they are put together they are going to give you the best result ever the next thing i'm going to add is olive oil olive oil helps to seal and moisturize your hair strand which keep your hair hydrated and protect against breakage it can also help prevent dandruffs and also dry itchy scalp. So I'm going to be adding olive oil to the two ingredients, which are ginger and cloves. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend both ingredients together. After blending, this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a pan. Then I'm going to transfer the mixture into the pan. So I'm going to be adding more olive oil to the mix. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and transfer it to the cooker. Make sure the cooker is on low heat make sure you don't burn it as you're going to lose all the nutrients so i'm going to allow it to cook on a low heat for about 10 minutes so guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so on this channel i do diy video that can help you grow your hair so it's been 10 minutes and it's time to turn off the cooker and set the mixture aside to cool down. So it's about 20 minutes and it's all cooled down and it's time to strain the oil out. You can use anything that you have to strain the oil out. This treatment will help you grow your hair faster. It can also help you to prevent hair loss, shedding, dry scalp, itchy scalp, and also dandruffs.
After straining the oil out, this is how it looks like. Then I'm going to go ahead and add vitamin E. This will help with the lifespan of the oil. I also add Jamaican black castor oil to the mixture. Um, I lost the footage. So if you have Jamaican black castor oil, go ahead and add it to the oil as well. Now I'm going to give it a good mix. Then I'm going to transfer it to my applicator bottle. Jamaican black castor oil will help moisturize your hair. It will help thickening and strengthening your hair. And also it will help your hair to grow rapidly. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use this oil as a hot oil treatment. So remember guys, hot oil treatments means that the oil needs to be warm slash hot before applying it to your scalp. So when I mean the oil needs to be hot, so make sure the oil is warm, not too hot that it burns your scalp. Okay. So at the moment, the oil is still warm enough for me to use it as a hot oil treatment. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the entire scalp. You can also use this hair growth oil as a pre pull treatment. Apply it to your hair before wash day. You can also use this oil to seal in moisture, apply it to your scalp, your edges at night, then you can wash it out the next day or you can just leave it in to moisturize your hair and scalp. So guys, don't forget to massage your scalp as this is very important as a study has shown that scalp massage helps to promote hair growth and stimulate blood circulation to your scalp. I also use this oil as a deep conditioner and deep treatment as well. So after applying the oil to your entire scalp, you want to cover your hair for about four to five minutes to one hour. Then you can go ahead and wash it out. So now I'm going to show you guys how I apply it to my eldest daughter's hair as a leave-in. So basically, as always, I section the hair. Remember to section your hair before applying any product to your hair. This will allow you to apply it to every part of your hair strands and your scalp. So what I love about this oil is that you can also use it when you have a protective style. So as I mentioned before, rosemary is amazing for scalp issues. It's also amazing at stimulating blood circulation on the scalp. So that is the reason why I'm applying it to the scalp, which can potentially boost hair growth as well. So guys, don't forget to massage the oil into your scalp. A study shows that scalp massage helps with blood circulation to the scalp, which helps to promote and boost hair growth. So once I'm done applying the rosemary oil to the scalp, I went ahead and sealing moisture to the hair. So I'm applying my DIY hair butter to that section. Then I'm going to apply my rosemary oil to the hair strand as well. So this rosemary oil is so easy to make, very affordable. The ingredient is very accessible. If you don't have the fresh rosemary leaf, you can also purchase the dry one from Amazon and you can purchase the fresh one from your local store. And the life shelf of this rosemary oil is around four to six months. How amazing is that? This oil is going to last you for a very long time and you don't have to add any preservative if you don't want to. My rosemary oil usually lasts me for about four to six months. So I personally love rosemary smell, but I know some people don't like rosemary smell. So if you don't like the smell, what you can do is add essential oil to your oil. So you can add essential oil such as um, lavender, um, tea tree, um, peppermint, just add any essential oil that you like. So once I'm done, I just went ahead and put the hair in a simple protective style. So as I said before, this oil is very versatile. You can pretty much use it anyhow you like. So you can use this rosemary oil as a pre-pull. You can use it as an auto oil treatment. You can apply it to your scalp. Use it as an overnight treatment. You can add it to your deep treatment or your hair mask. You can also use it when you have a protective style, such as box braid braid, 
twist or locks and you can also use it to seal in moisture to your hair as well so I get a lot of comments in regards to my recipe so some of you guys do ask if my recipe works for only natural hair so no my recipe works for natural hair perm hair and you can also use it for locks as well so guys we have come to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so comment in the comment section if you have any question for me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys bye